What's up everybody? I'm Tim from Timber Ridge Gifts. This is part two of our Candle Making 101 series. We're going to cover supplies in this video. If you missed the first video, go check it out. It covers the basic equipment we're going to need. And this video is, of course, supplies. Basically, five basic supplies you're going to need. You're going to need a container. You're going to need your wax. You're going to need a wick. You're going to need your fragrance oil. And you're going to need your dye. So without further ado, let's check out some of those supplies. Okay, first up is going to be the container that you're going to use. These are some of the ones that I have in my collection for my different candle projects. As you can see, you can use just about anything that you really want to to fit your project. The main thing you're going to keep, you're going to want to keep in mind when you pick your container is you're either going to want to make sure that it's tempered glass or that it's the glass is at least thick enough so it can withstand the heat of a burning candle. Next, we have our wicks. Now these come in tons of different sizes. I'm going to post a link in the description. Uh, Candle Science has a great wick guide. Basically, you just get on there, put your container size, the type of wax you're using, and it'll tell you which wick is best. We have three different kinds here. We've got your pre-tabbed. You have your pre-cut where you tab your own. Then this stuff comes in big spools and you can tab your own. If you're just starting out, I would definitely suggest just using the, uh, the pre-tabbed. It's a tiny bit more expensive, but it's a lot easier to work with. You'll save yourself a lot of trouble. All right, next up is your fragrance oil. Between all of the major companies, you can pretty much find just about any scent you would like. Uh, they sell it in one ounce, two ounce, four ounce, 16 ounce, eight ounce, all the way up to five pound buckets. All right, next up is our wax. We're going to start with our paraffin pillar wax. It's what we use to make pillar candles in this type of mold. This type of wax comes in, comes in both granular and slab form. If you're going to work with this, I would suggest using the granular. The slab is okay, but it's just impossible to break up and get your weight exactly just right. Moving on, we have our parasoy blend. This is a blend of paraffin and soy wax. It's what we use to make our votive candles and our wax tarts. And last but not least, we have our soy wax. This comes in flake form. This is Golden Brands 464. They make several different blends. It's just a matter of preference. We use 464. The other ones are great. It's just whatever you want to use. This is what we use to make our container candles. And last, we have our dye. Now this is actually optional. A lot of people just like to leave the dye out and make their candles plain and white. But if you wanted to add color, this is what you'd use. It comes in several different forms. Uh, the first one is the dye blocks. These are one ounce dye blocks. Basically, it's already dyed wax. You would just drop that in your melting wax and color it that way. This also comes in a dye chip form. It's basically the, th the same thing. It's just broken up into smaller pieces. It's easier to measure out. Then we have our liquid dye. Just straight up liquid, just comes with a uh, dropper inside and you can measure out your dye that way. Personally, this is what I use. I think it's easier to work with and it seems to go a lot farther. Okay, and that covers supplies. Hopefully you found that helpful. If you have any comments or questions, leave those in the comments. I'll try to get back to them. I'm going to leave a couple links in the description just to some of the companies so you guys can just go straight to them and shop for your supplies. If you missed the first video, check it out. It covered equipment. We've covered supplies. Uh, next video is going to be a how-to video where we show you how to put all that together. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out the link in the description to my Etsy store.